Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. I'm Bogey King, we're glad you're here today. Today we have a unique video for you. Uh, it's a little bit different than the typical golf content we like to bring to you and it's actually going to be an installation video. So if you've seen my previous video where I reviewed my 2021 Club Car Onward, I uh, decided because it's getting colder and I want to keep on golfing throughout the winter months that I wanted to get an enclosure. And so I've been researching enclosures there are several options, but I decided for me personally to go with the club car specific enclosure. Now, there are different options, as I mentioned, you can get a ton of different enclosures on Amazon. They range from anywhere from 100 bucks on up to 300 or so. The club car one is a little expensive, and so it retails for 815, and there were no discounts available. I had to order it through my local club car dealer, but the promise is, is that it's a more sturdy enclosure better materials, and it's actually made to integrate with a rail system in the roof, whereas the ones on Amazon would go over the whole cart, cover the roof as well. And a lot of those reviews talk about tearing, ripping, and a bunch of issues. And so my evaluation was, do I wanna spend $150 a handful of times, or do I wanna spend $815 once? And so that's why I'm here today. I wanna to help walk you through what it looks like to install this on your Onward. And then over the next uh, few weeks and months, I'm going to use it and I'll come back and give you a full review on the enclosure. But today we'll do the installation. We'll do an initial impression. So hopefully it helps you. If you're somebody who owns an Onward and is thinking about an enclosure, uh, this hopefully will help you make your decision whether it's worth it to spend the money or maybe to go ahead and get one of the options that's on Amazon. So if you're new here, hit that subscribe button, hit that like, we really would appreciate it. It goes a long way to help the channel. We have new videos every week and we do education, we do uh, product reviews, we have a lot of fun. So today is a little bit different and it's gonna be a product installation with the first impressions and then we'll do the full long-term review afterwards. So we hope that you stay tuned throughout the video and see hopefully how easy it is to install this. Now, one of the things that I'm gonna have to do based on what I've seen so far, is I'll have to remove the windshield, I'll have to remove the mirrors, and then I have a phone holder that I'll take off, which should be pretty easy. I actually have a replacement windshield anyway because I have a crack in this one. So while I'm at this, I will also be replacing the windshield. So stay tuned, let's get into the installation, and first, let's get into the removal of the pieces. So before we actually get to the removal of the parts we need to, why don't we go ahead and open up the box and see what's inside. Um, we do have included instructions. Um, I've got to be honest, I did look at these ahead of time and they're not super detailed. I also am a little disappointed in the fact that for $815, you have photocopied installations. So the quality when it comes to the pictures is really not ideal. So um, I would expect for this kind of money to have full color instructions, making it hopefully a lot easier to install. So we're gonna to try to go step by step. We'll see again what's included in the box and then we'll go ahead and remove what needs to be removed to put this on. So one other thing to consider when you're doing this installation is that these pieces all probably work better and move better when it's warmer. So I waited until there was a decently warm day here where I live. Uh, it's about um, 57 to 60 degrees. So I've kept this inside so that it was the warm temperatures and then I brought it out here. Uh, it's not too different. So hopefully the materials move and flex better because even though this is supposed to be a top quality you know, item, we do not want to do when it's super cold because super cold temperatures could make it rip or tear as we're trying to install it. I can say so far that the material quality seems very nice. The plastic on here seems like it's a high grade. It's definitely thicker and it's very clear. So I'm hopeful that that really means that when I'm out driving, I'll have good visibility um, on and off the course. So 
So the instructions do say, enclosure installation, remove the windshield, windshield retention clips, and any accessories from the front strut. Unzip the sleeve from the side panels and attach it to the front strut using the small zipper. The small zipper should fit snugly against the strut with the zipper on the inner side of the windshield photo frame one. And again, the photos they provide are pretty uh, useless. All right, so windshields off, mirrors are off. I think we can start to put the canopy on. I wanna take a minute and clean this up a little bit so that it's nice and clean underneath. It's one of my favorite things to use when I wanna to touch this up quickly. A lot of times we'll just hose it off or use the pressure washer and clean it, but if I don't have time for that, I have this Chemical Guys Swift Wipe Waterless Car Wash. This stuff works great. You just spray it on, let it sit for a minute, and then literally just wipe. I mean, it takes up the dirt. It gives it a good shine, and it really, you know, it does what it's supposed to do. I use a uh, microfiber cloth that I actually got from uh, the Chemical Guys as well. So, uh, really does a good job. There's a little bit of scuffing under here, which is to be expected. The windshield vibrates as the golf cart. Uh, as, the, uh, as the windshield moves around, as you're driving. The one thing that's cool about golf carts too, if you've not done any research on them, they're just a bunch of components. Like the one thing I love about a club car is it's an all aluminum frame underneath, so there's no corrosion or rusting over time. All the different components, the body, the lights, the, the brush guard, everything on here is components. You can take off, remove, adjust, replace as needed. So that's what's great about a system like this. One of the things I realized the camera wasn't running for is I had to take these clips off up here, they're just rubber uh, holders where the windshield connects into when it's up in the upright position. So now I'm going to go ahead, I've got the two um, front strut pieces ready to go. We're going to zipper these around both struts and then I believe everything should slide in and start to zipper together. These are shaped to fit the strut so they should be able to determine what side things are on. There's an inner zipper here which should make sure things are aligned. I'm not exactly sure 100% of the rotation. So I'm just trying to be as careful as possible as I uh, zip this together. snugly against the inner side of the windshield. Install the rear and side panels of the enclosure by sliding them into the track of the rest of the canopy with the enclosure retention slips on the inside. Here's the zipper and underneath of here is the rail system. So the main enclosure goes on the inside track here and then the outer uh, skirt goes in the slip out here. So my apologies, I thought I hit record, I didn't. So I started to slide into the track in the back and realized it's a better angle up front. Giving it a little bit of pressure as I slide it in so that it doesn't pull too much on the rubber. So far, so good. I'm just going to come, I guess, to about here. Okay. So we got one side in. 
wasn't too uh, difficult. Wasn't too easy as well. <laughs> it's gonna be interesting to see how it is getting in and out of the doors while the canopy is on. Um, I do think though having the space in the back sealed should help with some of the wind and keeping the weather, uh, you know, out. And then it has this valance that goes around and that should help keep the wind from any of these open parts. The great thing is, is it's designed so that in the summer when we don't want it, you can roll it up and zipper it out of the way. Okay, so what I need to do now is just finish getting this panel on, the back panel, the other side panel, and then we'll do the, the curtain, and then we'll fasten it all together, and then I'm gonna have to drill some holes through the fabric where the clips used to be, and uh, this way the windshield can go back on where it needs to. So we're gonna do a time lapse and get that handled. All right, so I just need to put this front balance on the here and then reattach the windshield and we should be almost complete after we you know, do that. We gotta fasten down the straps. But overall, it's coming together. It's not been too difficult. Uh, a little bit easier than I thought it would be. Now, in order to reinstall the windshield, I have to drill holes or make holes in the fabric to refasten it to the thing. So doing this, I've grabbed these uh, push pins. So I'm gonna find the holes and then I'm gonna use that to line it up. I don't wanna drill big holes. I don't want it to rip, but I definitely wanna make sure that I know, um, you know where the material is so I can get my way through it. And this way if I mess up, I don't make the hole bigger than it needs to be. Okay. so. Keep forgetting to hit record, but I marked my two holes over here and put small drill holes. And now I'm gonna do the same over here. So we're there. Follow the mark and then Through there. And pull over. So this way we're being smart and then thumbtacks are going back into the cup because we don't want them to hurt the house or the car. To be honest, I should have uh, designed this a little more ease in mind. I'm gonna get a hammer maybe. Okay. When all else fails, use a hammer. Okay. First grippy is in.
All right, well, that is it for the installation. Some really quick initial impressions is it's definitely high quality. I mean, the canvas is super thick. There's double stitching across all the joints. The Velcro is very well secured and then each of these uh, main connection points along the cart are also double stitched with dual seams. So I think that part should be good. Obviously, we're gonna do some long-term testing to take us out on the course. Some concerns that I have initially is in terms of design and the installation. So I had to take the windshield completely off. As I mentioned earlier, I had to replace the windshield because I had a crack in my previous windshield. Either way, it was not easy whether you're gonna replace the windshield you have or put a new one on. Getting the holes drilled through the canvas and then stretched back through was definitely a two-person job. Had my wife help me out, I'm glad she was able to, to accompany me, but if you're doing it by yourself, definitely recommend more than two people or more than one person for the installation. Uh, I don't understand in terms of design, like I can't put my mirrors back on unless I cut back to the fabric, so I'm gonna get a mirror that goes in the inside across the top so my side mirrors are no longer useful. I think, in my opinion, they could have easily, especially with the measurements, they could have easily cut in the holes needed for the, uh, you know, for the screws for the windshield and actually for the top where you have the uh, windshield holder. I think that that was something they could have easily done and provided so that you don't have to worry about cutting through and drilling holes, um, you know, through your brand new canvas. If you, like there's no room for air. If you messed up, you screwed it up. And as I mentioned earlier in the video, for $815, you do not want to screw up. So I don't know if part of that strategy is so that you go to the dealer and have pay the dealer to do it. Um, but you can be, it can be done on your own. Uh, you do have to, you know, hook it down below, which I'm curious to see how that holds up over time and stays down. The only other concern that I have would be getting in and out. Now, um, this, the, the zipper is on both sides, but it's only down at the bottom. So if you're on the course and you want to keep the door closed, then you know, you're gonna have to reach down and zipper it up. The other thing that I've noticed is there's nothing on this side over here to fasten the door this way. So if you wanted to maybe roll the door forward, you can't, you have to roll it up. So there are uh, snaps where you can keep it rolled up and out of the way. Um, so I do think that when you're uh, you know, setting up for the day, you, you'll have to figure out how you wanna operate it. So again, in the long-term review, when we get it out in the course and we use it for, for a little bit, We'll see. Some other concerns is going to be how it cleans up. Again, the plastic is very nice and thick. It's marine grade, I believe, so it should not color or, you know, get frosty, hopefully not too soon at least. Um, but overall, I think it looks good. I like the fact my golf cart is white, so I think the black and the white look great. Um, the other concern that I have, I should say real quick, is the back. So I use this golf cart to golf. That's one, um, you know, one main feature of a golf cart is I use it to golf. And so I use it all the time for golfing. And so far, I've not been able to figure out a way to put the back cover down with my golf clubs on. Now, this is designed for the four person, and I assume that they would have thought there'd be some level of usage when you're golfing. And so I gotta figure that out. As of right now, I don't think it'd be the end of the world because you know, if the back's open, the wind's not gonna be coming in if you're going forward. And I think ultimately the side to side blockages is gonna be enough. But if it's raining or the weather might be bad, or I just want to cover the back up with my golf clubs in there, I don't know that I'm going to be able to do that. So I'm going to figure that out. Again, that will be in the long-term review, so make sure you're subscribed to see that. Again, my biggest evaluation is, is this worth $815? So far, maybe. Um, we're going to give it a go. Again, installation wasn't too difficult. Uh, I was able to get it all myself, and I was able to do everything except for the screws up here on my own. So overall, not too bad, but again, if you're not subscribed, hit subscribe. We'll be doing a long-term review on this coming up soon. As we say every week here at Bogan King Golf, you can still have fun even when you're playing plus one. So we hope until next video, you get out and play some golf, and we'll be back soon with a full-term review on this. So we'll talk to everyone later. All right, see you guys.